is my April favourites for you. Now, I'm sorry you have to excuse my makeup. I have been wearing it for 12 hours now, so I'm home. It's a beautiful day here in South Wales. It's been absolutely gorgeous. And uh, I've been meaning to film my April favourites, so I thought now is a perfect time. So, um, not as much as my typical months. Um, I've got a fair amount of things, but not, not like a crazy amount like I often do. Um, but I want to start off by saying something that I don't like because it's quite relevant. Um, so this last week I've been painting my nails quite a lot because the stuff I've been using has been chipping like crazy. And what is it I've been wearing? Barry M Nail Jellies. Now I did my nails last night. I used an OPI base coat. I used the nail jelly in pomegranate, which is this stunning colour here, which is the one I'm wearing. Absolutely beautiful colour, I absolutely love it. It's just so vibrant and pink and juicy, it's just, it's really good. And then I used an OPI top coat, which is in I Juggle Men, which is this beautiful, beautiful shade here, which is just like a soft, shimmery, glittery, beautiful, pearlescent kind of, almost holographic colour. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll use that as a top coat. and. <laughs> today they have all chipped like crazy uh, I'm not impressed it's not a good look <laughs> you know I'd expect it to at last to last at least 24 hours because they did it over 20 um, not even 24 hours ago so yeah not impressed with that has anyone else had that with the nail jellies um, or is it just me because my nails are a little bit weak I don't know but anyway jumping into the actual favorites now so uh, I'm gonna start off with like body ones um, so so this is something I picked up on my birthday a couple of weeks ago. Um, and this was at Paddington Station in London. Um, I picked up a couple of things from the body shop there. Stuff that I've been really, really wanting to try. Oh my god, it smells so good. This is a strawberry body butter. And it smells like a strawberry milkshake. And you just want to just eat it. So I've been using that and I absolutely love it. It's um, it's nice, it's buttery, it melts into the skin really nicely. It makes you smell so good. It's just smells, it just smells amazing. Um, and before I put the body butter on, when I'm actually in the shower, there's something else I got that I, I even prefer the smell of this, I think, to the strawberry body butter. And this is pink grapefruit body scrub jelly, which is this one here. And it's kind of quite liquidy and kind of jellyish. Um, unlike, oh god, it smells so good. Unlike the Sugar Crush Body Scrub by, um, what are they called? By Soap and Glory, that's it. <laughs> Had a complete mind melt then. Um, oh my god, this really, when I first um, saw it, I didn't look to see what the scent was. And as soon as I smelled it, I was like, it smells like pink grapefruit. And I wish you could smell it, but that's what it looks like. And it's really good. Exfoliates the skin really nicely. Um, makes you smell amazing. And even when you put the strawberry body butter on on top of it, you can still smell this coming through. Every now and then you'll be like, oh, I can smell pink grapefruit. And it smells really good. So I like that because, you know, I like to smell nice. Um, and then this is something I had for my birthday off my mother-in-law um, or parents-in-law. And it's Bioderma. <laughs> She was going to, oh, they were going to Spain and they were like, oh, is there anything you want? And I was like, oh, if they have Bioderma in a pharmacy, you'd love some. They didn't have any. Um, so she ended up ordering it and getting it for me as a birthday present. Sorry, I've got a hair on me. Um, and yeah, and so I absolutely, I've been really loving this. Um, I have used it one of two ways. I either use it to remove all of my makeup. Um, if I'm very tired and I don't want to go to the hassle of using a hot cloth cleanser, um, then I will I will just use this, but that's quite rare. Um, normally I'll use a hot cloth cleanser and then I'll finish off with this um, just to pick up anything that the hot cloth cleanser has missed, which usually isn't much, but it's still, this is just like another thing just to make sure that all that makeup's gone. Um, and then next we've got a lip product, which is my Corez Lip Butter in Guava, which is, I'm wearing it now, you won't be able to see it because it's kind of, well, it's, it's the colour of the lid. So it's this one here. And it just smells really fruity. It smells really fruity, really fresh, and just feels lovely and conditioning on the lips, and just, it's just really nice. I really like it, and I've been wearing that absolutely loads, so I like it. Um, next is something I haven't reviewed yet, but I have mentioned I'm going to review it, and again, I don't know if I'm gonna review it on my blog or on here. I might do it on here. Um, but it's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. 
Um, this is in the shade 51, which is Light Vanilla. I like the name. Uh, it's just, it's a really good foundation. It's, um, I've been wearing it quite a lot. Now, it's, it hasn't beaten my Dr. Jart. I still prefer Dr. Jart, but this is really good. I do really like it for um, a high street foundation. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, I really do like the Revlon Colorstay as well, but this is, this is really good. It's, I, I would recommend trying it. I really would. Um, next is a fairly old favourite actually, this is in quite a lot of videos, which is my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Now, I really like the Rimmel Stay Matte and I've written a really nice review of it up on my blog. Um, and I really do like it, but there's something... Well, sponge just fell out. There's something about this one that makes me want to finish it. Um, I've got quite a big dip in it already and I know I'm going to hit pan on it soon, and so I'm like... I just want to keep going and keep going and keep going till it's finished. Um, yeah, which I'm not normally like with products, but this one, I don't know what it is. I want to finish it and it is really good. It's, even though I really like the Rimmel Stay Matte, it can look slightly cakey if you put too much on. This just, it just never happens with this for me. Um, I, I just, I never get that happen. So it's kind of safe. So yeah, so anyway, so there's that. Um, also, my Maybelline colour tattoo in the colour Barely Beige, which I'm afraid is only available in America, and I don't even know if it's still available because I think it was a limited edition, but I could be wrong. So you can see I've used sort of a fair bit of it. Um, it's got quite a big sort of dip in it now. Um, the only thing, <laughs> the reason why this looks a bit messy, is because um, it was out here in my conservatory for a couple of days when it was really hot um, a few months ago and the kind of the oils in this separated from the colour and they just looked really weird so I had to kind of literally stick my finger in it and like squidge it all back together again not not a nice thing to do but um but either way this is amazing for a base for your eyeshadow and for me if I don't use this I get creasing within about six hours if I use this I get nearly 12 hours out of it um, both with primers so it's amazing and it's just a lovely coloured base for what my next favourite is which is my MAC quad that I put together um, I put this together when I was in London I put in three shades but I've picked the fourth shade now as well god I don't know if I can remember these I'm going to try my absolute best so we have satin taupe that is shroom which is the new one this is twinks and this is sketch I remembered Awesome. Yeah, Satin Taupe, the most beautiful eyeshadow. I absolutely love it. I mean, I really, really love it. I have been wearing this for two weeks straight without wearing any other eyeshadows because I just, I just love it. And now that I've got a highlight in there as well, thank you guys for the recommendations as well. Um, this was one of the recommendations in the comments in my last video. Um, yeah, thanks for that. Um, now I've got this. I don't ever need another eyeshadow again. Yeah, right. Um, and then next we've got a blusher which is the NYX Summer Peach. Now this is a seriously beautiful colour. I don't know how well it's going to be picked up on here, but it's this beautiful peachy colour with a slight golden shimmer to it. I'm, I've been wearing it every day for again pretty much the, the last two weeks. I absolutely love it. I, I really love it. It's such a pretty colour. And then lastly, it's a Rimmel product and it is a, um, a, a coal eyeliner in, like it's nude, is it nude? Yeah, it's, num it's number nude, it's nude, um, which is their scandalized one, which is this. Again, it's really nice for the waterline just to help brighten up your eyes. Um, this is what I've been using mostly for the last couple of weeks as well. And what I really like, I don't know if you all get this, but if you put dark um, eyeliner on your waterline, do you get like a build up in the corners? Because I do and it's gross and I'm constantly checking in a mirror to make sure there isn't any build up there and clearing it away as soon as there's like any hint of it. But with this, even if there is a build up, you can't see it because it's like skin coloured. So I'm still checking regularly, but it doesn't look hideous if, you know, if I miss it. So yeah, I really like that. So they're my favourites. Um, if any of these have been your favourites as well, please do leave a comment below or, you know, even if you've got other favourites, let me know what your favourites have been this month. I'd love to know. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you've liked it, but I hope you've had a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!